Hi, and welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa. I am The Crafty Author, and welcome to my quilting room. Today, we are going to be doing an embroidery project. I'm super excited to show you. Um, this is a design by Designs by Juju. I love their designs. They're lots of fun. And I will link below down in the description box to this design so that you can grab it for yourself. You can do this on a single needle or a multi-needle machine. We're gonna work with the Racoma multi-needle machine um, because I don't have to do a ton of color changes, which makes it awesome. And also Racoma is having a really, really awesome sale right now. And I'm super excited about that. So I'll be sharing that with you as well. But I wanna show you what we're gonna make first. So this is what we will be making. So I picked up this little oven mitt from the Dollar Tree. Now I got this, it came in a two pack. So you get two of these for a buck. Can't beat that, right? So um, my daughter's doing Thanksgiving this year and I'm gonna probably have to take some kind of a dish. Okay, I'm gonna have to take all the homemade apple pies um, because they all say that I make the best apple pie. So I'm going to be using these cute little gnome oven mitts for our Thanksgiving dinner. So I'll be using this to transport my pies. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did this and we're gonna just get started. All right, so right now, Racoma is running their Black November promotion and it is a really good one. So if you're interested in getting one of these 10 needle machines like I have, now is the time to do it. So from now until November 10th, they have 0% financing. You get free shipping, which will save you up to $1,500. You get free Chroma Plus with the purchase of a single head machine. That's a $1,300 value. Uh, Chroma is the embroidery software that Racoma um, has that you use with your machines. It's easy to use. Um, I use it. <laughs> and then if you uh, buy a multi-head machine, you will get free Chroma Lux, and that's a $2,000 value. So if you're interested in starting up an embroidery business, like on Etsy or even like Shopify, you're definitely going to want a multi-needle machine because it will save you so much time and so many headaches. <laughs> so um, if you understand what I'm talking about, if you've ever embroidered something that has 40 million different color changes in it, it can be a real, it can be a real pain. So, um, you know, just think about it. Take a look. I have my link down below in the description box. And if you just reach out to Racoma, they will... Um, they will answer any questions that you have. They've been wonderful to me. And so, you know, what have you got to lose? Just look into it. Awesome. All right, so this is an applique project and I'm just gonna use up some of my old Halloween scrap. And this isn't really scrap, but it's gonna become scrap um, fabrics to use here. So I'm just gonna cut a small piece and then I will fold this back up. And I'm just randomly choosing pieces of fabric for this project. So feel free to use whatever you have laying around. Like I said, this is a really great scrap busting project, especially if you have Halloween fabric. So. So now we're ready to hoop our hoop. Like I said, I'm working with a five by seven hoop. That came with my machine. I am going to use water soluble stabilizer for this product or project. Um, that's the other thing I wanted to mention. One of the really great things that I love about my Racoma is that it came with the four hoops. You don't always get all the hoops with every machine, every multi-needle machine, but Racoma sends you um, four hoops that you get, and you also get the cap um, hoop plus the stand, which is amazing, because you don't always get that. So, 
and I have more fun with this machine. I'm telling you what. Okay, so I have this hooped now. My water soluble stabilizers in here. This is Kimber Bell water soluble stabilizer in case you're wondering what brand I'm working with here. This is also painter's tape that I purchased off of Amazon. I just bought a whole big pack. Like I said, this is a two pack that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I am just going to set it in the center of my hoop, just like that. I'm just gonna center it by eyeballing. I could mark this. I mean, I guess we could mark it, but I'm not going to. I just, I'm not gonna be that precise with this, but if you wanted to be super precise, you could be. So I'm just gonna use that and tape that down probably tape onto here as well. And this just helps to keep your oven mitt down, you know, tape down. And this is a method that I'm doing right here is called floating. So we are floating the item instead of hooping it. So I find that this is easier to do for certain things. Um, sometimes it's necessary to hoop the actual project, but for this kind of a project, floating it is going to work for us just fine. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and choose our design. I'm working off my little USB stick. Um, I have our little pilgrim gnome over here. You can see I've marked down my colors that I want to coordinate with this. So I am just going to go in here and I'm going to choose my design. All right, so here is the design that we're gonna be working with here. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that to the machine. I'm gonna click okay, I'm gonna go back in. And that's our design. Okay, so we're good. All right, so next I'm gonna go into this design set and I'm going to choose our hoop and our hoop is going to be this hoop C, which is equivalent to a five by seven hoop. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna flip our design and I want it to flip that direction. So we're good there. So we can click okay. And now I'm gonna go into our colors and I'm just gonna program them into the machine. Okay, so this is gonna be the first set and then when we're finished with that, I'm gonna do the frame out there for the last one. But then once we're done here, it'll stop. And then I will go ahead and program in the rest of my stitches or the rest of the colors that I need to use to finish the project. So we're gonna click okay. And now we're going to go ahead and put this into embroidery status. And we're gonna do a quick test to see if everything is lined up correctly. And everything looks good, so we're gonna do our first stitch. Okay, I'm gonna put our fabric down real quick here. Oops. 
card in my arm here for a sec. But I want to make sure we get that black and white polka dot or that black and orange pumpkin there. Because I think it's really cute. All right. Now we're going to trim around our design. I know it's hard to see what I'm doing right here, but I have to get as close to the edge as I possibly can for this. So I'll do a close up. Let me get finished here. I'm also using these duck build scissors. These are Quilters Select and they work really, really well. You just wanna take your time when you're doing this. You don't, it's not a race, so. I often have to tell myself that too because I always want to just go super fast. So. Okay, we got that one part off. You can see I have a lot of excess fabric on here. You can pull this out if you want to as well to get a little cleaner um, cut around. But I think that this is gonna be good enough for me. Okay, so now we're ready to put this back in and start again. Okay, so I wanna show you how we do this now. So we had too many colors, or we have too many colors on our sheet here. We have more than 10 and we've only got 10 needles here. So now I'm gonna show you how we go in here and change that. So now I'm gonna do the next set. And I marked these all before I did this just because I knew it would make it so much easier for myself. Um, And we have one more to do after this one. So we're gonna leave that frame out there. We're gonna press okay. 
and we're going to go ahead and start stitching again. Our design is done. So now we can take it out of the hoop here. We're gonna just pull this tape off that we used to tape it down. Pull the hoop off. Now remember, this is water-soluble um, stabilizer. I'm gonna trim off the little stitches as best I can back here. Because you'll want to clean them up just a little bit. Shouldn't be that many um, jump stitches and stuff to clean up, but there will be a few. And they are kind of hard to see sometimes, so <clears throat> you'll notice that sometimes when you go to pull it off, you'll see it more prevalent than when you pull the stabilizer off. Okay. I'm just going to tear this off a little bit because we're going to wet this and then it's going to come off. what it looks like on the back that's what it looks like on the front all right so we're just going to squirt this and I usually just use a piece of scrap fabric that I don't really care too much about just kind of rub it get this to come off You can just use your fingernail to scrape it. As you can see, a lot of it's just coming off with me doing that. It's a glue, so it'll make your fingers sticky. It'll feel gross. I'll probably end up trimming this some more once I once this all is dried. But Get the rest of that off of there. And that's what you have here. So this is what we have. So you can see my first round, I, I wasn't quite as um, attentive to my little gnome guy. <laughs> But it's okay. I mean, it's just, you know, it's going to it's going to serve its purpose fine. He has a brown mustache instead of a polka dot mustache. 
Um, and this guy right here is my favorite, honestly. And I love that he has pink hands because I gave him like pink gloves. <laughs> He's a gnome, you know, they're always dressing kind of crazy. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I did, like I said, got these at Dollar Tree yesterday. These oven mitts, they were a dollar. This is what it looks like on the back side. You know, I have a few little uh, threads to trim, but you can see here, not bad, not bad at all. So if you'd like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to share, that's great because sharing is caring. Don't forget to click that little bell. You get notified each and every time I upload an awesomely cool new video and keep on crafting. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.